Welcome to 30 Days of Photoshop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to remove blemishes on your skin. Hey there, welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flearn.com where we make learning fun and welcome to 30 Days of Photoshop. So for the next few days, we're actually gonna be doing skin retouching. Today, we're gonna to be doing some blemish removal. Then we're gonna get into frequency separation and dodging and burning. Very exciting series. So let's go ahead and jump in. We've got our sample images. You can download this image and follow along. Just click on the link right down below. So let's go ahead and get started by zooming into our photo. I've got a great keyboard shortcut you're gonna love. Hold the space bar down and then hit Control or Command. You're gonna see your cursor is gonna turn into a little magnifying glass. You can click and drag from the right, there we go, to zoom in and left to zoom out. Now, this is really actually pretty important when I do skin retouching because if you zoom just like way, 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 way in, you might find yourself spending a lot of time focusing on details that you really won't even see when you're a little bit farther zoomed out. So here's how I generally recommend doing blemish removal and skin retouching, is you wanna make sure you tackle all the areas that you can see from a little bit more of a zoomed out area. So it's a good idea to zoom in to go ahead and take care of those areas, but then go ahead and zoom out again and make sure you're like hitting all those areas that you wanna make sure that you can actually see from this level. Now let's go ahead and get into our tools and techniques. Now, as we zoom into our photos, so for instance, this area, just a couple little blemishes here that we wanna remove. And this is, you know, everyone has these and things like that. So I, I get them too, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just, you know, when, when people are photographed, you see some of this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new layer. Now there are a couple of tools that you can use to just really quickly remove this stuff. So the first tool is the spot healing brush tool. You wanna make sure your type is set to content aware and then sample all layers because we're on a new layer here. Now for this, basically you can just paint right over the thing you want to be gone and the tool does a really nice job removing it. So for instance, I just kind of click around here and boom, these things are gone. Zoom back out and we can see, yes, in fact, those areas are gone. Now. The tool does have a little bit of a like drawback in that it chooses the sample point for you. So if you say, I wanna just get rid of this texture, it's gonna find whatever texture in your image it thinks should go there and replace it. Now that's cool because it's not a lot of work, but sometimes it doesn't choose the right texture and things don't exactly look the way they should. So if that ever happens to you, you wanna jump into the regular healing brush tool. So let's go ahead and just circle this here. Now I know we're super zoomed in here, but Let's just go ahead, I'm gonna create a new layer and grab my brush tool and just kind of highlight this area right here. So that's what that's the area that we replaced, okay? Now you can see like definitely it got rid of, you know, it got rid of that little blemish, but it replaced it with a pretty smooth skin texture. Like it maybe pulled it from over here where it's a little bit out of focus. So you can see that yes, it did replace that, but it doesn't, the skin texture where it did the replacement doesn't look exactly like the surrounding areas. Okay, so what do you do in that case? Again, you just grab the regular healing brush tool and you do it a little bit more manually, but with this manual process, you get a little bit more control. So on a new layer, we're just gonna grab our healing brush. So J to get to your healing brush and right under the spot healing brush is the regular healing brush, okay? So you can get to this by simply clicking on holding right here, or you can hit J to get to this and shift, hold down shift and hit J and you'll cycle through your different tools that are all nested together. Okay, so again, we are on our regular healing brush tool. So with this tool, you have to sample your own uh, texture. So let's hold Alt or Option to sample. I'm gonna say, hey, this is a good texture here. Now we're just gonna paint right over there. And you're gonna see with the ability now to sample my own texture, I have a lot of control and I can make sure that wherever I paint is going to be the exact texture of my choosing. So you just wanna keep a couple things in mind. Let's say I wanna remove that. I wouldn't wanna choose a texture right over here that's like perfectly in focus, right? Cause it really just isn't gonna look good. So make sure you choose something that's similar in a similar area with similar lighting and similar focus, okay? Also, if you're gonna be replacing an area in shadow, you wouldn't wanna choose an area in highlight because shadow tends to have less detail. So for instance, if I you know, sample the skin over here and paint it over, See, it, it looks weird, it looks like horrible. Shadows have less detail. 
So if you want to replace a highlight area, make sure you sample a highlight area. If you want to replace a shadow area, sample shadow area. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple of these. So again, just hold Alt or Option and then paint right on the area you want to remove. Okay, super quick and easy. Just really doesn't take that long. All right, you can see I'm just kind of whizzing through this image here. All right, and I do recommend just keeping your, you know, keeping your opacity of this layer at 100% because you don't want any type of like semi like faded out looking effects. Those are just not going to wind up looking that real. There we go. It's looking fantastic. So let's go ahead and zoom out just like we said. And here I see a couple areas on the forehead. So we'll just, you know, sample right next to those and paint them in. So I'm going for the high impact things here. There we are. Fantastic. Areas that I can, you know, remove blemishes in just a couple seconds and things that I can see when I'm a little bit more zoomed out. Because again, if you just spend all your time zoomed in, not only are you not even going to be able to see it when you're zoomed out a little bit, but it will kind of just be a waste of time. And time is important, so we don't want that. Now, we have a couple like little dark areas and things like that here. You can take care of those uh, with this tool as well. Uh, in our next video, we're actually going to be doing frequency separation, and that's where we take care of like uh, color and light inconsistencies in skin. It's going to be very exciting. Okay, now that looks pretty good. There's just a couple areas, and you can see I'm zooming out here, uh, you know, to, to be able to see everything at the same time, and then I zoom back in to take care of it. So let's just turn these layers. I'm just going to merge these two layers together by hitting Control or Command E and just turn them off and on. So you can see that's kind of what we're taking care of. And as you zoom out, you can't even barely even see those things that we changed, right? But if you zoom back in, there we go, it becomes pretty obvious that yes, indeed, we did remove some of these distractions. So I'm in the camp of people that says you don't need to make skin absolutely perfect because if you do, people don't tend to look that realistic. So Keeping a few of the like little blemishes, especially if there's something they're born with, like if, you know, like I have a, like a little mole right here, you want to leave that sort of thing in because it, it makes them who they are. It's a defining characteristic. So I've got a couple more blemishes to remove. We're just going to speed this video up a little bit. You can see it and then we'll check back when we're done. Well, there we have it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and after here. So we'll zoom in just a little bit more and take a look. Here's our before and our after. You can see we're just going after, you know, some of the areas that we can see there and zoomed out a little bit of a before and after. So this is our first step in skin retouching. It's the first thing that I recommend doing for any portrait. Now, tomorrow we're going to be using frequency separation and we've got an included action, which is fantastic. Frequency separation will allow you to correct some larger areas like color and light inconsistencies in skin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying 30 days of Photoshop. If you haven't already done so, be sure to sign up because you get all these sample images. You can follow along as well as bonus downloads, goodies, and discounts that are only available as a part of this series. And it's absolutely free. Just follow the link right down below. Thank you so much. I'll flirt you later. Bye everyone.